my colleague Madeline Tubiana and I were interested in social change and contested spaces. So where the ideal social change is not clear and people are really battling out what needs to happen. And so we were looking at the sex industry and the laws were changing at the time in Canada. And so social movements on both sides of the debate had emerged to fight for either decriminalization or stronger regulation. Um, and from there, we noticed that social media had a huge impact in the social movement, um, as we've seen play out in a lot of different social movements. But everyone we talked to in the industry also talked about the importance of social media for improving the actual work. And they talked about their work in ways that we hadn't expected, in ways that aligned with the social movement. Um, and so we actually shifted gears from this larger project on the social movement and began interested in studying women and trans entrepreneurs and the work that they were doing because those were the people we were talking to in the social movement and they talked about their own businesses and the work that they were doing um, and we found that social media was really critical for what they were doing and it allowed them to bypass the existing power structures in the industry that was sort of the key thing that it it shifted the power so that they could control and choose what they were doing and so I should say um, that this isn't to say it was perfect. We all know the downsides of social media. Um, there were trolls and harassment, online harassment, which we all know about. And the sex workers definitely talked about that as well. But they were very clear that social media changed the power dynamics in an industry that gave them more control. Um, and there were sort of two different sides to that that we found. So the first thing that they talked about was that social media allowed them to connect to the consumer directly so in that sense they could bypass the coercive power structures in the industry before social media power was very centralized there were large escort agencies and production companies in the porn side of it that controlled access to the consumer they had distribution um, and workers really had no choice but to work through these organizations um, if they wanted to reach consumers. And so, and we've seen that in a lot of different industries, you know, TV networks controlled access to viewers um, until viewers had, a, or until the actors had a way to go direct to the consumer. Um, but because the sex industry is highly unregulated, um, you know, because it's criminalized in a lot of ways, it flies under the radar underground, and that leads to a situation where the workers didn't have much power, and they had no recourse. They had no recourse to deal with agencies and producers and consumers that didn't treat them very well. So social media, and particularly like Twitter, um, and now other sites like OnlyFans and even Patreon, um, those sites are allowing sex workers to reach consumers on their own and allows them to differentiate their services based on their own personalities. So we're seeing that they can reach the consumers or fans that are connecting with them personally. And many of the people that we talked to, they explained that the consumers that they're connecting with that are connecting with them personally um, treat them better the workers have a lot more power than they would as employees working in an agency or for a production company. So this shift in technology actually shifted the whole power dynamics in the industry, um, giving the independent women and trans sex workers more power to negotiate the terms that they're willing to work on. Um, and then one of the other things that happened is that social media, and again, we've seen this in other spaces, it allowed communities to form. So it allows the sex workers to come together and build support groups um, that can help them deal with the challenges of working in a stigmatized industry. Um, and they get emotional support, they get guidance and mentoring on their businesses. So in this sense, they're again bypassing the existing power structures in the industry that put them at a disadvantage. Um, and then they're able to work in a space where they have power. And this is possible only because of social media. It allowed them to organize and to have a way to access the consumers directly while they were doing it.